Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Catherine, if you didn't already know. Today I'm gonna to be testing out for the first time the new HMV Cosmetics lip glosses. If you basically wanna see that, see me run through the new shades, what they look like, how they swatch, um, then dig from watching. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and other than that, let's get into it. Okay, so before I start the video, I should probably address the elephant in the room, which is my room. Um, so I've had a complete room makeover. Um, I'm still waiting on a few bits and pieces that are due to come. So once it's completely finished, I'm going to do a whole video all about my room makeover. But yes, I am literally obsessed with it. But it's not quite finished yet. Um, but that video is coming soon. Um, but anyway, today... It's all about HMV Cosmetics and the new glosses. So HMV Cosmetics is Holly Boone's makeup brand. Um, and she has come out with some new lip glosses. They are new and improved, um, completely new packaging, new formula. And apparently they're just supposed to be even better than the old glosses. Now, I absolutely love the old glosses. Like, I thought they were really good value for money. Really good, um, like, formula. And overall, like, I enjoyed wearing them and I picked them up again and again and the thing about HMB Cosmetics is that it is affordable um so I was happy with the price point and sort of how the products fared in relation to the price so I quite like them um but she has come out with these new and improved glosses so I picked up all four shades um which came in like a bundle um so yeah, I'm going to be testing them out today, trying them on for you, and just showing you how they look. And yeah, that's basically it. I also picked up one of the um, translucent powders. I really, really like these. And again, they're super affordable and I literally live by them. Um, so yeah, couldn't recommend them enough. But let's pop on these glosses. So each of the glosses come in this like nude pink packaging with the HMB Cosmetics logo. And then each one has its like name on the bottom of the box. Um, so I really, really love this baby pink colour. It's slightly different to uh, their previous uh, glosses. I remember the first one was literally in like a sparkly packaging which i personally loved um but as it's as the brand evolved it's become a bit more clean and a bit more just like subtle uh packaging so there are four shades there's 11 11 low key to be honest and woke so i'm gonna start with 11 11 which looks like the lightest shade this one looks like it's got more of a peachy undertone now i haven't got anything on my lips i'm not gonna line them i'm not gonna do anything like that because sometimes that can actually affect the overall color that the shade comes out so i'm literally just going to pop these on so the applicator is much more spongy than previous ones it feels a lot more uh, premium so i'm just gonna oh okay so it's not as thick as i thought it would be but is applying really easily now this has definitely got more of an orange undertone to it. So it's more of like a peachy gloss. But it's still quite clear. And it is really pigmented. Oh, I like this. It's kind of got like little, little specks of silver in it. I don't know if you can see. But this is shade 1111 which is more on the yeah peachy side I would say. Um, but really cute it's not tacky at all like it literally doesn't have like a tacky feel to it it applied really really easily um and it's just a really nice everyday sort of shade i'll definitely be wearing this so next up we have the shade low key which is more of a pinky sort of nude um so let's pop this on and see what it looks like they're all gonna have exactly the same applicators they're quite a nice little uh, cute size as well so i can imagine that i can just uh throw these in your handbag okay this one has definitely got a lot more of a color to it it's like a light nude pink Hey, not gonna lie this one would be better with lip liner just to act as a guide um but we move 
it's definitely more of a nudie pink. It is quite light on me. Um, if I was doing like a nude pink look or like a peachy look, then I would definitely wear this gloss. It's really, really light. Like it's a really light pink. I don't know whether I could go any lighter with my skin tone. Um, but yeah, it's still really pretty. It's got a nice shine to it. It's got a nice finish. Um, and again, it's not got like a tacky sort of feel to it at all. Um, it's actually a really cute shade. It's growing on me. When I first put it on, I was like, oh my God, that's so light. Because normally I'd go for a slightly darker gloss and more of like a clear gloss. Whereas this actually has a proper colour to it. Um, but yeah, it's like a Barbie doll pink gloss. It's super cute actually. I like it. So this is shade Loki. Okay, next up we have the shade Woke, which looks like a slightly darker pink. Um, so again, I'm just going to pop this on. Yeah, this looks like more of a true nude, or like a true nude for my lip shade anyway. Yes. Oh my god, this reminds me of... Uh, uh, what was the was it okay then I think that was the the one that I literally got for about 10 of them from HMB cosmetics this reminds me of that color it's so nice this is like the perfect brownie nude and it goes really nicely it's like an everyday gloss yeah I really like this Oh my god, this is going to be my new obsession, I can already tell. See how easily it applies as well, it just glides on. It builds up nicely, again it's not tacky. Obviously with a gloss you don't need it to dry, it just stays there. Um, it's got a nice shine to it, this is really nice. This is like the perfect sort of brown nude for me personally. Um, this is the sort of gloss I would choose to wear anyway. So I feel like this one I'm going to get through so quickly. Because I just love wearing glosses. Like my go-to is a gloss. Like even if I'm not doing a full face or like completely going ham. <laughs> having a full glam moment. Then I will still put a gloss on because it just dresses up the look and just helps. You feel better i don't know whether it's just me personally um but yeah this is the shade woke and oh my god i am obsessed i'm gonna be wearing this all the time i already know really really nice brownie sort of pink nude and then last up we have the shade tbh or to be honest which is the darkest shade of the four glosses so i'm just gonna put this on i don't know if this will be slightly too deep for me um but it's like quite a dark brown shade. I'd say it's got a bit of a purple uh, undertone to it. Especially as we're coming into summer. It's not just be a tiny bit too dark. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. You know what? It's not terrible. Would I normally reach for this? No. Uh, is it a colour I'll wear? Probably not in summer. But maybe for more of like an autumn winter look. Or I could probably get away with it with like a dark outfit like the one I'm wearing. But this is just way out of my comfort zone. It's obviously a super glossy shade. And it is a beautiful colour, but personally, I think it's a bit much uh, just on me. But I don't hate it. It's just way out of my comfort zone. Uh, so yeah, this is the shade, to be honest. And I probably could get away with it. But as I said, it's a bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, but yeah, not terrible. But just not my colour of choice. <laughs> Okay, so they are the four glosses. I've actually put back on the shade 1111 as that's probably the most like natural she sheer sheen sort of gloss. And I'm actually heading out and I just feel like this is more of a casual look. So yeah, I think this works well. Um, in terms of price point for these glosses, so the bundle was £40. So that works out at £10 a gloss, which 
I personally think is reasonable for a gloss of this quality and I know these aren't the biggest so I probably will get through these quite quickly um, but typically for a gloss I'd be willing to spend about £20 for a high end gloss so I think £10 for a gloss really isn't that bad and as you can see these ones applied really easily honestly they don't feel tacky at all and I just really like the quality of these products and I know Holly has like worked to improve the formula but I personally liked the old glosses although the only thing was I think they had a bit more of like a vanilla -y scent whereas these don't have a scent at all which is quite quite nice um, because sometimes yeah makeup with scents doesn't always hit right um so yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with the packaging as well like i love anything like nudie pink so this sort of light baby pink is a big yes from me also the names are just so cute um i really really like sort of the fun names and yeah just the overall brand i rave about it all the time i always recommend it to people um but yeah these glosses are really nice they haven't disappointed i'm not surprised to be honest um so yeah, I hope you found this useful. So that is it from me today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Go follow me on Instagram as well. Um, I'll be sure to link below all the products that I've mentioned today along with any other um, sort of videos that I have previously reviewed products from HMV Cosmetics. I'm a big fan of their products, so yeah, nothing bad to say here. My room, new room video should be out hopefully soon. I'm still waiting on a couple more bits, but fingers crossed that will be soon, so keep an eye out from that. And other than that, stay positive, and I'm sure I'll see you soon with another video. Bye. You're my God is a woman.